All right, guys, back at the North Texas Comic Book Show, we've got Mike and Scott of Unearthly Comics. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up, man? So we, I was walking by, I was talking outside to you, and, uh, you know, we always like talking to creators, especially with comics. We're all comic fans around here. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Unearthly Comics, man. Um, Unearthly Comics, me and Scott decided to start a publishing company for, um, you know, in Dallas, Texas, because there's not really anything out here that really publishes much of anything, really. But um, we used to be another company. Um, That's when we met Scott. And we kind of disbanded, and me and Scott got together and started writing and drawing comics. So I think we're kind of a crew of four right now. Yeah. Wanted to bring back some of the old uh, EC style, uh, kind of retro sci-fi uh, with, with our titles, uh, specifically Atomic Tales, try to get people back involved in the... Uh, some of the good stuff. Yeah. So what what book started you guys off? Which one did y'all get together and say, okay, this is what we want to do? Um, we were doing underground comics, and then me and Scott decided to just, uh, I think we were reading some, uh, like, 2000 ADs and yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, EC stuff. We were like, let's let's try to pull some of that out of our ass. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. We sat around the studio and just kind of, you know, snowballed a bunch of stuff and just kind of thought about what would be cool what we liked about the comics and what we you know looked for when we were out you know shopping and and uh, we we loved the the sci-fi the oversized mag style uh, so that's what we wanted to try to emphasize with our work was was bring back the oversized magazine and and uh, just that vibrant you know pop you know look and just kind of they have fun with it yeah we're going to show some of those images here in just a second but i mean self publishing anything is hard work so a lot of it's kind of a labor of love once you start it out. I mean, we talk to a lot of guys that they do fan films, they do comic books, and it's yeah. it, it's hard getting your stuff out there. And I mean, what 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 have been some of the difficulties you guys have had just getting things done? Um, just relying on people to actually turn work in. We yeah, kind of yeah. started just maybe just relying on ourselves instead of trying to get a whole group of people because um, it's hard to find like-minded individuals. Um, I think the hardest part was just kind of coming up with that initial money to yeah. do it. Um, the drawing wasn't, I think that was already there. Yeah. We could get the stuff done. Well, you got the talent for that, you know. Yeah. I, think the big I need part people is, to look at this, though. Look oh, at my yeah. talent here. Yeah. yeah. Right. The big part is getting people to take a chance and kind of step out of the box to, you know, you know, take a chance on something other than the big two and, and give uh, give some of that independent stuff a, a chance to, you know, see what else is out there. You know, mm -hmm. and, and this, I think, will give us that opportunity, you know, hitting the shows, hitting some of the local cons. Get your face out there, online. get your art out there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, letting people know that you're around and, and not just a, a flash in the pan. So I'm unfamiliar. I, like I said, I just met you guys. So. Yeah. Tell me about you, you. I heard you have four books in circulation right now. Correct. Correct. Okay. Tell me about uh, tell me about the titles. Just give me a quick rundown of each one you got going on right now. Uh, we have Atomic Tales one and two, and it's both kind of a Tales from the Crypt format with short stories, um, with kind of snap endings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Scott's yeah. Scott's pretty good at writing up some snap endings here. Yeah. Um, we have Absurd Tales, which is a, a collection of our underground stuff, and also. Uh, uh, some stuff from other Dallas artists uh, that worked with previously in uh, uh, at Terror. So, uh, so that has a compilation of that, like 50 pages. And then, you know, we're already working on Atomic Tales 3. Mike has a uh, Sprinkles. Uh, yeah, Sprinkles in the Starbright Band. That was a nice playoff of the My Little Pony Ninja Turtle. Uh, mash up, have fun with it, and it make sounds, fun of it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in this now. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's like little, like little furry mice, but it's super violent, kind of dark night violent. I'm really interested now. Yeah, but <laughs> they have the color scheme of a My Little Pony and the kind of the, the like, potty humor of the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. So they have a cute look to them. Yeah, we should, we should uh, bring by one of those for you later, so you can have that. But yeah, it's, it's definitely fun, and you know. The, we're, Mike's already 18 pages into that one. Mm -hmm. You know, we got another 11 in the bag on Atomic Tales and finishing up the penciling of the last 12 for that. So, yeah, we're just uh, plowing right through it to, you know, keep stuff, you know, out there for people to see. Okay, well, speaking of people, uh, things for people to see, I do have some samples here. Maybe you guys can just kind of tell me about what I'm looking at here. And I, yeah. I love the art style, though. It is very old school. Yeah. I like it. So, first shot, this is one you guys insist on having. That looks Whoa. So what, what, what is this story? 
Uh, that's the Mule Skinner. It was kind of inspired by a song by the this band called the Fender Men. They're from the 50s. Uh, it's kind of an old folk tune that they turned rockabilly. Uh, the song's super creepy. Um, we so I decided. So to, is this panel. <laughs> yeah, the whole yeah. thing's kind of weird. It's a. Uh, it's about this guy, Roy, and um, he gets hired to go fix up a house out in the middle of um, Texas near Austin. And uh, little does he know that there's this sinister background on this house. And Mule Skinner is a guy that used to herd mules, kind of like a sheepdog, but it's a guy. So the story is there's an origin to the Mule Skinner that's real sinister. The owner of the house um, kind of... We don't want to ruin it. But. No, 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 don't ruin it. No, no. Yeah. We, you got to go buy this stuff, guys. Yeah. But he yeah. wears this skull. He's a ghost, and he That's wears a super skull creepy looking, of a yeah. mule. And credit to Mike on the, the, like you said, the color and the pop. You know, yes. To make it, you know, give you that retro vibe to it with the, the look. But We were yeah, trying still, for like a grunge yeah. pop feel exactly. with some of the browns. Uh, it's kind of an oxymoron, but. No, I like <laughs> it. I like it. Okay, so let's see the next image we got going here, which Mike. This is why Chris operates the board, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and hold on, I'm trying to get this thing to work. And I screwed it up. Hang on a second. So, okay, what was the okay? Tell me, what was the inspiration for that particular book? While I figure this other stuff out. Yeah, uh, the inspiration was that song by the Fenderman. Right. And if you guys I go never home heard the and song, so. you should listen to it. It's it's weird. It's got a lot of yodeling, like the creepy yodeling. Um, it's probably yeah. a free song by now. It's public domain. You probably probably it. it's so old. The magic of post editing is I'm going to find it and put a link to the song I'll so say, people yeah. can actually go and check it out. So I will get this thing to work though. <laughs> yeah, let's go check. Just go. But um. Oh, it was next. Yeah, there's like this little boy that lives there. and There we go. He carries roses. and. So the other image you wanted me to pull was this one here. Now, this looks like a different, this is a different book. It is. Which one is this one? This is a... That's Hollow Moon Theory, uh -huh. uh, illustrated by myself and written by Jason Nancaro. Uh, it's a throwback to Wally Wood type artwork. Um, it's kind of a... I love the use of Kirby dots on the explosion. Uh -huh. Just yes. gonna say that. <laughs> you can't go wrong with Kirby dots. No, you can't. You can't. No, everything goes good with Kirby dots. The moral of that story is, um, I, I guess, if you watch a lot of alien documentaries, we always make aliens out to be these, uh, you know, evil creatures. You know, like, oh, there's a moon base and there's probably weapons of mass destructions on the moon. And the aliens are gonna destroy us. Yeah. It's Shoot like first. maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. So they're kind of teaching people from earth that aliens are bad that you should shoot first if you ever see an alien and that's kind of the mentality that people have in this story um these russians go up onto the moon to they're doing some mining and uh they run into an extraterrestrial and they decide to shoot first and that's not actually a good thing because this thing was peaceful but there's a kind of a shock ending i love the one. old school rocket by the way that's my thing yeah. yeah all right so we got uh these are images that Chris randomly pulled. So, uh, what book was, is this one from the same book or? Uh... Yes. Yeah, that one's from Atomic Tales. That's just a panel from one of the shorts in there called Horizons. Love the and, artwork. Um, yeah, so... we decided to instead of trying to sell just prints of actual pages, pulling the panels that we like, and trying to make an art print out of just the panel itself. Ah. And this was one of I felt Scott's strongest. It's just beautiful to look at. It is. I like it. Thanks. So, all right, now I, I I love the yellow weather design on this page. Yeah, I like this. Okay, what book is this one from? Uh, that one's in Atomic Tales Two, and that's the the short uh, Planet Tomb is the name of that title, and uh, th that's exactly the look we were going for with it was uh, the kind of the, the yellowed, you know, old mag look, you know, kind of weathered and uh, you know the spots on it and creases uh, with that yellowing. And uh, I think it kind of lent an eerie vibe to the overall story, uh, as this guy is marooned on this planet trying to find his uh, his love, uh, who was uh, crashed on that planet before, and he was basically on a rescue mission to go find her. And so now he's you know uh, trekking across it to to try to uh, see where she is and if she's still alive. These are great. I love the. 
let me see. Okay, so we got another panel from that. Wow. Love the Audrey 2 right there just going after him. Yeah, that's the, the monster attack on the beach after he's already crash landed in the water, washed up on shore, and uh, now he has to survive this uh, this creature coming out from the deep, and uh, then he you know wanders into the the, the jungle, and uh, more hell breaks loose from there. Man, oh, this, is, this is the opening shot. Exactly, right? should have so, gone the other direction with it. That's right, but yeah, he's looks like he's you know floating through space, you know, crash, you know, kind of debris around him and we, as we pull back we notice that he's actually underwater uh, with the crash ship in the background and the next page uh, finds him washed up on shore leading into that uh, okay now attack. this one this this book is interesting to me right here so okay uh, we've got Atomic Tales this is the cover yes sir it's cover of number one correct so this, we're, we're going for like an old movie poster feel with kind of credits and oh yeah I, I get it Technicolor got Technicolor got yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, how many short stories are in this book? We have a black and white copy with five short stories. So five or six. The, the black and white has everything from one and two. It's and then, high, uh, I would want the color, though. I, I, we had, we had color, to split that into two. Uh, exactly, yeah. Color, the first one has three stories, and then the second one has two stories and a pinup uh, from your, uh, your mummy attack. I think mm -hmm. that's the, what I like about the art, because any of, any of these pages could be a, a pinup. Framed on the wall. And people go, Ooh, where'd you get that from? Yeah. And Thanks. we've got. Uh, I love this cover. <laughs> yeah, Absurd Tales was uh, like we had collected up all our stuff, all the random bits and pieces, and uh, some shorts that we were working on uh, through the underground stuff. And it's a lot wanted, of unreleased material. Yeah. So we wanted to reflect that in the cover to let people know that you know, the Saint Your Daddy's Mag. You know, it's going to be something different. And if you like. Well, don't Crazy go, don't go give stuff. this to your kids. So. Yeah, it's not for kids. Yeah, yeah, it tells it right there on the cover. Yeah. Oh, it does. Uh, oh, it, uh, I think he cut it off. But and we're back to the other one. Well, I really like the artwork, guys. It, 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 I love that retro feel. So you got four books going right now. What uh, What's in the pipeline? What do you want? What do you What are you throwing back and forth? A little, little bit for you guys out there. Look. Yeah. What, what, what are y'all throwing back and forth? Maybe you want to get out next. The, Definitely sprinkles in the Starbright van. Yeah, got that one and the Atomic Tales three, oh. uh, which is uh, already, you know, uh, eleven pages into inks and mm -hmm. you know the other twelve are penciled. So we just got to finish that up. And he's, Mike's working on sprinkles, getting that one knocked out. So we'll have two more titles to release at the same time, and then uh, after that we're we're looking to. Yeah, continue with Sprinkles as an ongoing and still keep Atomic Tales and possibly branch out into some other um, maybe true crime type kind of broaden uh, our base you know to some true yeah that would totally fit with the art style that you guys yeah. are going for I would love to see some of that I, I'm, I'm a big fan of old school detective com well like actual detective comics and yeah those kind of serial tales like that yeah mm -hmm. doing something along those lines you know the what crime must pay you know those oh, yeah. old you know ten cent you know you know, comics, you know, from the, you know, the, the 40s. So that's what we want that feel. And we want it to, to go across all our lines. So yeah, that we're trying to fuse it into like a universe kind of thing. Yeah. yeah so that when someone sees it, they, they recognize it as an unearthly comic. And, uh, what drew me, connect. you don't see a lot of this art style being used to, these days. Everybody, it's, it's, yes, it is kind of the retro style, but you don't mm. see a lot of other, well, of course, you're not going to see anything like this from the big two. Yeah. Oh, Marvel and DC not. ain't going to go here. Uh -huh. It's yeah. not. So you got to go to your indie creators and get something like this. But the art style really works for what you're doing. Especially if y'all do a crime tale, let me know. I'll, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be contacting you guys about that. But okay. it, also, you need to go visit unearthlycomics.com. I got the card here. And nobody can see what I'm doing. So I, I've got the card right here. So, And if you come to the North Texas Comic Show, you could have seen them. But that's unfortunate. However, mm -hmm. if someone wanted to get some of your books, how would they go about it? Just go to the website. Go to the website, www.unearthlycomics.com. And we've got it all there. We've got digital downloads, um, discounts sometimes. So if you follow us on Facebook, um, facebook.com slash unearthlycomics, we usually put out promo codes and you can get 25, sometimes 50% oh. off. Yeah. yeah. Hit us up and we'll be happy to make it happen. Even if you don't want to go to the site, we'll, we'll find a way to get it to you. Well, I've been convened in this interview to provide everybody with links below and so they can see where to go and where to get. And these are actually really good. I, I love the art style. And after this, I am actually going to go over to your booth and cool. check out a few things. So, you know, sure. maybe a little something I can take home, kind of read. <laughs>
Because yeah. I like comic yeah. books too. Yeah. But anyway, guys, Unearthly Comics, go over there, check them out, yeah. get some artwork, get a book, get yeah. prints on there as well. Yes. I saw that. Interested in the prints. But uh, guys, thanks for talking with us, yeah. and I wish you guys the best of luck. And if anybody else is watching this, y'all need to go and maybe get these guys before they get too famous. Mm -hmm. and, you know, your, 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 your paycheck has a little more couple zeros on sure, it. I think sure, you should go sure. ahead and, yeah. you know, snatch you guys up now, you know. There you go. Get us, get us while we're cheap. Yeah. <laughs> well, moderately cheap. Yeah, yeah right, right. <laughs> we appreciate the opportunity here, so thank you. Well, no, we always love talking to creators, and y'all need to go check these guys out. That's all I got to say. Guys, thanks for talking to me, man. Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.